So, of course, you know, the, uh, the battle of words continues here a little bit. Um, I found myself in kind of a unique spot here. Um, I don't always find myself having to backtrack from my words, but I got to thinking about this a little bit, and, you know, I try to be a reasonable type guy, and so maybe, uh, maybe I'll, I, I can address this, uh, uh, this particular issue. You see, there, there are a few people out there that think that, uh, because I, uh, again, drive around with uh, with a sign or did drive around with a sign on the cab uh, that said the redneck cabbie on it that maybe that I was a it was a shot at the uh, at the Somalian drivers which make up about 60 percent of the uh, the uh, cab drivers in the Twin Cities and maybe I was a little bit unfair about that but you have to understand that the only Somalian drivers that I'd come in contact with were the ones that were were driving for green and white suburban cab and maybe it just maybe it's, it's it's a thought here but maybe it could be such a thing is is maybe the problem i was having wasn't so much with the the the, the individual drivers themselves because I, I had always said my point of contention was the fact that their their customer service skills were uh needed to be a little bit to be desired actually need a lot to be desired I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it but the fact of the matter is is maybe it's the fact that these guys in, in, in the training that was involved with these guys you know maybe it was just something that where they just slapped their little money on the table there and they were sent out on a drive sent out on a on a uh, uh, on a uh, ride along with a with another uh, with another driver, with another Somalian driver, and the guy didn't learn a whole lot in that process other than just basically how to cheat the system. So maybe my problem wasn't with the Somalian drivers at all. Maybe my problem is is with the fact that this uh, cab company that I used to work for didn't want to take the time to train these individuals properly and to be under to make sure that they understood that the way the system was supposed to work. Uh, just a thought, but uh, if I offended anybody, I apologize. At least uh, on that realm, and I'm man enough to do so. But that's all I got for now. Till the next time. This is John Shannon, the Redneck Cabbie. Adios.